Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story of a, of a man named, well, it's, I'll have you try to guess after I tell you a couple of things. This man has endured some pretty crazy adversities, struggles. One being his, his fiance dying a couple weeks after he proposed. He had a series of nervous breakdowns. He continually failed in business and he was defeated eight times in eight elections. This man, if you guessed it right, is our own Abraham Lincoln. You see, adversity is defined as a state, condition, or instance of serious or continued difficulty. Opportunity is a good chance for advancement or progress. Uh, today is about seeing and experiencing the, the beauty in adversity and the opportunity in struggle. Now, why is this important to you? Well, your life actually is a sum of, of all the decisions you've made. And guess what? We've all been given a gift. And that gift is the power to choose. The power to choose what meanings we attach to events. Right, and that power actually can destroy us or build us. How do you begin today creating that mindset? One, you just simply choose. You simply choose to. Two, is you surround yourself well with the right people, the positive people, the people with the right mindset. And three, you have to anticipate the truth is that we live in a world where you will be facing struggle, adversity, and challenge. That's, that's a no-brainer. That's going to happen, right? And this is where it really gets me. It's, if it's going to happen, if you know it's going to happen, figure out how you can utilize it. And so you anticipate that, knowing, hey, I'm going to reach some struggles, especially if, if you have high goals, like aspiring goals, you're going to reach some difficulties, some challenges. But just, just know that that's okay. You can utilize those challenges for your advantage. I know you might be thinking, you know, David, that's great. That's just a lot of wishful thinking. That's just not being realistic. That could not be further than the truth. I'm not denying pain, struggle. And I understand that there are often times where we can do very little to affect, you know, things such as loss of a job, loss of a loved one, sick, being uh, being ill or... or um, Poverty, I mean, those things, there's little you can do to change that immediately. But I'm not denying that, that this exists. I'm just I'm asking you to look at it. And if you're facing this type of adversity, to look at it and how you can utilize this for the better. Now, I know that positive thoughts alone won't change your situation, your circumstance. I'm, I'm accepting of this challenge and the struggle. In fact, because I'm ex ex accepting the challenge, <laughs> kind of having a difficult time trying to say that word for some reason, because I'm accepting of that challenge, that's going to just, I'm bound to grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I mean, when you take on a challenge and you overcome it, you grow. So, what if you look at every adversity and you just define it as something that's going to help you to grow? How would your life change? Is it going to make you wiser, smarter, stronger? And the best way to really come to the conclusion is think of a time where you were faced with adversity and you overcame it. Were you better? Were you a better person? Were you smarter? It's almost like a it's a it's a funny question because of course you're better now you you you're able to to face bigger bigger difficulties right so what's the consequence of, of not adopting adopting this type of mindset well it's simple you're going to empower this negative thought this negative feeling this um, negative behavior to take you down with it you're going to become less resourceful less likely to reach your potential, your goals, and you're less likely to leave 
your mark on the planet. Now, what would Abraham Lincoln's life look like if he didn't, if he didn't uh, choose to overcome these adversities the way he did? Would the very history of the United States be different? Now it's your turn. Now it's your time to choose. It's your turn to rewrite your history the way you look at it. It's your turn to write your future, and it's your turn and your time to write your present. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.